Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I found a tarot spread I decided I wanted to do tonight. So I was going to show it to you guys. So this is, I found it on Pinterest. It's called the Checkup Spread. Looks like this. And it's, I have six cards here. Um, card one is for physical health. How are you doing physically right now? Just this one. Card two is mental health. How are you doing mentally right now? Card three, spiritual health. How are you doing spiritually? And then it says the fourth card is a prescription card. What you can do to help yourself in one or more of these areas. Um, and then it also says you can pull this card three different times for each of the cards if you want to. So that's what I did. I pulled uh, a prescription for the physical, a prescription for the mental, and a prescription for the spiritual. So, I just thought this would be fun and see what we need to do here. So, and I did pull a card from my, and this is from my, um, totally forgot to say it. My, uh, Super Linares Tarot. I haven't used it in a while. For some reason, it's been calling me the last couple of days. So, I decided to do this spread with it. And then, um, I did also pull a card from, where did the cards go? from my second edition at Oracle of Echoes. Um, and I actually pulled all the cards prior to of these. And then I pulled the Oracle card asking my guides to, because I haven't looked at the cards, what was I leaving off? What was not in this spread that needed to be said? Um, and I actually pulled the trapped card. And it literally reminds me of, I think it was the very first, the second ever meditation I did uh, with a young Indian girl. And at the end of the meditation, um, after I was seeing all these different scenes, I was seeing a black box. Um, and in the very center of it was me. And it was literally like my guides were telling me there were spirits surrounding me but I couldn't see them or converse with them because I was surrounding myself there was this barrier here and that's what I see here it's more you're not trapped you're there's more of a barrier and I guess there is a way it's trapped because you're doing the trapping you're not letting go enough to or surrendering yourself enough to just the universe or um uh what's the word i'm looking for you're not surrendering yourself to the greater good to be able to break that that barrier is what i'm seeing and i find that quite interesting because i get that a lot uh, trapped or letting go a lot and it, it's just hard for me <laughs> it's very hard for a virgo to just let everything go and just see where we go i'm not a fly by the seat of your pants kind of person um that's not what virgos do um so i just found that very interesting um so for question one card physical health how am i doing physically right now and i have the sun card which shocks me because I have an ongoing health issue that I've been working on for almost two years trying to figure out what it is. Still have no idea what it is. The doctors still have no idea what it is. Um, I mean, obviously it's not dire situation or I would be in the hospital. Um, I'm still going to work every day. I work overtime every day. Um, so, um, that shocks me because of all the doctor's appointments I've been going through this year, just this year alone has been utterly exhausting. And to get the sun card where there's this, this hope of coming out of whatever I've been going through. Um, I sense that more than anything is, um, there's this hope there. There's this other side, there's this day coming uh, where it's just beautiful sunshine. 
So I find that interesting. And maybe I need to get out in the sun more. Which is true. <laughs> so for card two, mental health. How am I doing mentally right now? I'm scared. Mentally, I have the king, queen of wands. Isn't she gorgeous? And that reminds me of when I went to Utah in 2020 for my birthday. Oh, it just it's gorgeous there. And I was in the more northern part where you don't have these huge red rocks, but we found some anyway. <laughs> There's a canyon there that has all red rocks. It's beautiful. And look, she's got the kitty here. So mentally, I'm on fire, um, is what I see. Mentally, um, and it seems pretty positive. I was expecting a more negative, like the five of wands or something. <laughs> um, but I see this as a more fiery, grounded um, card. And for it to come up as the queen of wands, that's very interesting. And it, of course, it's gorgeous. So for card three, spiritual health, how am I doing spiritually? We got the Knight of Wands. What's up with the... All of these are fire. The sun, the queen, and the knight. It's all fire. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Um... It's all about the fire and the passion. Whatever sparks my... All these are a spark. Creating a spark. Um, mentally and phys uh, spiritually, it's all about the spark. With the sun, it's a new day is coming. A better day is coming. Um, which I keep hearing over and over and over. So that's interesting. But they're all fiery elements, uh, which I find quite interesting because here the last few months, I've had no fire, no passion, no drive. And this is telling me you have that drive. You just need to find it again. Um, interesting. Interesting. So for the prescription, what I can do to help myself in one of these areas. So what is the prescription for the sun? What can I do? And see, that's a more negative. Um, it's a nine of swords. But <laughs> I see this as the, again, it's to get out of my head. Um, I've been so worried about what's going on with me physically that it's kind of making me sick, if that makes sense. So I need to get out of my head, get out of the nightmare situation that I keep putting myself in, and then I can see the sunshine. That makes total sense. Total sense. So what is the prescription for the mental health? <laughs> and we got the Ten of Cups. Um, spending time with family, spending time again out in the sun, um, out in the world, out in the open. Um, and I love how both of these are very, very nature-based, both of these. So my prescription for becoming this Queen of Wands is to be outside. Wow. And then card six is prescription. What can I do to help my spiritual health? And we got the fool. Oh, and again, what I was saying here, take that leap of faith take the leap of faith that the universe knows what it's doing. Um, and just, yeah, maybe this will, this taking this leap of faith will get me out of the trapped box. Um, interesting. So yeah, that is my spread. Let's see what the card, the, I only got a pamphlet here for the, um, yeah, I only have a pamphlet here. Uh, that comes with the deck. So let's see for the sun what it says in the book pamphlet. Got to find the majors. The sun card. Happiness, success, clarity, freedom, a great sense of the beauty of life. Seeing the world in a whole new way. All 
life united in joy and light and that's what i was saying is here once i get out of my head and start seeing the beauty that's there i will be a much healthier person and i think that this card represents almost the physical mental and spiritual because once i have the sun come out all these other things will fall into place interesting so for my mental health how am i doing mentally right now i got the queen of wands uh says solid passionate sexual brave bold sensitive i mean assertive generous fiery determined empowered not being afraid to speak your mind a warrior spirit a fiery appreciation of life and i do feel that deep down i just don't act on it a lot of the times <laughs> makes sense and then for the um spiritual for the knight of wands says swift action adventure creative energy ambition challenge inspired action impulsiveness and i see that as being you can be impulsive at times um but there needs to be the sense of action and adventure and i think that's cool that the that's the words for the night but the prescription is the full card which is to me action and adventure interesting so for the nine of swords it says anxiety worry nightmares fear fantasies paranoia insomnia unfounded fears a dark night of the soul and again this is more of a uh, this is what this card to me represents but this is more of a a kind of a warning to me it feels like that saying get out of your head get out of these nightmares that you're bringing on yourself come into the sunlight and all things will be set right just like self sabotage in a way yeah and then the ten of cups for the prescription for the queen of wands harmony lasting happiness fulfillment a wish granted good luck contentment satisfaction enjoyment and pleasure all the things that once i release this card will fall into place with the sun card makes total sense to me with to become the queen of wands that's where that's what i would do and then the full For prescription what you can do to help yourself in the spiritual the full new beginnings a leap of faith taking risk and trusting the universe going your own way listening to your own own voice wow just listening to that that little small still voice inside of me also because it's not going to ever steer you wrong um so i found that quite fascinating and interesting it's pretty much stuff i already knew <laughs> uh one day i'm gonna have a, uh, one of these that shocks me um but this is um i used to get told all the time uh when i did my very first psychic reading that i went to have one done for me um i walked in there with such a chip on my shoulder and not really putting too much stock into this into tarot or anything and she's like uh uh you can believe it or not believe it but um uh the mainly anytime you have a reading done it's always going to be stuff you know deep down inside you know this is the answer this is what's going to be the outcome because deep down inside somewhere something inside of you has already been telling you these things you're just not listening um so this is kind of a confirmation more than anything uh from the tarot deck that i am on the right track i am 
hearing it right. I'm not misinterpreting what that small, still voice is telling me. So that's quite interesting and quite fascinating. So anyway, that is my checkup spread I did. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night. Bye.